Uh, yeah, I have built some things. Well, I haven't built much. Uh, I've actually, but I did go exploring down in the di the deeps, the depths, the, the dibbly dupes, um, and found uh, most of the named areas. Found some uh, abandoned mines I hadn't uh, grabbed the chest from yet. I maxed out my battery. That's cool, I guess. I think it's neat. Um, upgraded some clothes a little bit more. Uh, checked out. I found every shrine. I found every shrine, even two that I don't think I'm supposed to be able to find yet. But I did it because I'm not gonna lie. I used a guide for the last two. Well, especially the one last one, especially because right now it's uh, enveloped in storms, and that's a problem. Like I'll show you on the map. Beetle's pack is packed. Uh, yeah, there's two... Where are they? Oh, it might be... Yeah, they're in here. There, is, there are some islands in here. The Thunderhead Isles, per title. This one... There's practically no way you're gonna get that without a guide before you clear the storm. But we got a lot of stuff. There was supposed to be a bunch of stuff we did before we cleared this. Well, not that much, really. It's after you do all the, um... Territorial, uh, the, yeah, the the regional stuff, not territorial. I marked a few more, uh, at least two, maybe three more. Um, uh, which of who's it's? Uh, glyphs. I know that's all of them, but I did run in here. I just didn't talk to Impa, and got the shrine marked for that too. I got rid of that stamp. Uh, you remember last time we streamed? I did the last of the labyrinth, so that's out of the way. Um. So yeah, I want to do the robot building thing today. I would like to, um, I don't know what else. I should look up the, what the oh, and we turn at least some of these, uh, these fun gubbins, uh, the, the orbs, because I did go back to my, uh, playthrough of Brief of the Weef, which apparently I never, I never archived, uh, the OG playthrough of Brief of the Weef. I started to. I think, like, what I was going to do was condense the episodes down in, like, my video editor, and I never did, and I don't have the raws anymore. So, oops. There's highlights. I saved highlights. But, yeah, it was kind of weird. So I'd actually have to, like, fire up the Wii and find the disc, but it's all good. All right. Uh, also, yeah. I, first things first, I want to do, uh, I'm trying to remember where, somewhere around, somewhere around here, but I want to do the, um, the thing with the, uh, Fierce Deity outfit, since we still haven't done it, I've been hanging on to this half-broken Fierce Deity sword forever, so, yeah, it'll be side quests and robots today. And then I'll have all the buddies, and we can go check out. There's a couple. There were a couple of tablets uh, tuned to two of the assists um, near the ruins, near that one tower. So I figured there'd be two more that popped up, getting the other two buddies. And I don't know if there's going to be a robot uh, equivalent one. So I figured let's build the robot first. So if there's a fifth one that pops. We're good to go. All right, so so about going in here, and also I think they might give me a quest, uh -huh. old manuscript, something. All right, way oh. to go, Dak. You're genius. I'm gonna read all this. Huh? No. Huh. More Misco stuff. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Ah. Oh. Sure. There's a hundred rupees. That's Tingle outfit. All right. Uh, twins poised to duel. Caverns to face another. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Well, we definitely got to go for Tingle's outfit, then. 
Is he gonna charge me a hundred for each one? Well. Okay. Fuck it. Ah. Oh. So it's, it, this is all the tingle outfit. Okay. Cape Kales. Ah. Oh. Well. And I just find something blowy. <laughs> or whatever those lips are. Oh. Well. We also gotta do the Leviathan stuff. Apparently there's a specific order you have to do the Leviathan ones in. So... Alright. Oh, the statue's the eight. Yeah, we haven't done the eight heroines at all yet, so... Oh. Now that the desert's cleared up, it should be a lot easier. Uh. Plus there was mention of there being a lot of caves in the very southwest of the desert because... Sinkholes. I did burn through a fair amount of rocks because I did some upgrades on the uh, gem headbands and stuff. Actually, yeah, I'll show you what new outfit stuff I got. Found some more Koroks. Yeah, so really, the only really new stuff. I got the headbands, like I said. We might have gotten those on stream. I don't remember. I definitely upgraded some of the earrings and stuff. Uh, yeah, we finished the Ganondorf set last time. I think that's actually pretty much it. Oh, and I found... A, a duplicate pair of uh, trousers to time, finally, so. I think that's most of the amiibo duplicates at this point. I think we're good on that front. I think we got at least one of those, but yeah. Outfit time. Fierce deity. That was easy. I might have to stand somewhere. Nope. Alright. God, I'm always going to leave a note. For, probably for a clue for more stuff. Let's find out. Oh. Oh, so it's just another fierce deity sword. It's a good sword. So no complaints. Are you kidding me? I probably have some, something I could trash here. Hold on. Uh, 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 works right now. Cool. All right, so that means we can break the other one. Oh, that's right. Uh, I fought some of the bosses down uh, in the in the down below. Uh, I did find uh, a couple, a couple of the um, the gomas, so I got my photo for that too. But they drop parts, uh, not really like organs or anything, but they do drop like parts you can attach. Grab a lizard real quick. Okay, uh, alright, I think, think we can hit up a goddess statue real quick, because I want to upgrade my stamina where it was on, um, the last one, and we'll see if I can actually match the heart count, um, well, I know if we go here... Not here. Here. Because I, I definitely have a backlog of uh, things. I don't know if I got all the... Uh, yeah, there's, there are a few of the shrines I did not get the crystals dropped off yet. So that'll be something to do. Activity-wise. Holding off on Hestugas, I think the next melee weapon upgrade I can get is like 50 some. There should be a goddess statue in here. Yeah. 
this is where we sell. That's the end. Oh wait, no, they got a statue's outside up above, isn't it? Yeah. And we have a goldfish. I think. Yeah, if we walk around a bit. Okay. I could have sworn there was one here. Maybe it's downstairs just on the outside? Did I just miss the nook in here? Worst comes worst. I know I know where the one in the hot no town is, huh? So. Oh, we got some new uh, cloths too. I forget if I applied that to my glider yet. Oh, duh, it's right here. Okay. Let's see, I think we can get three stamina bars on the third ring, and then... Oh, also we have uh, Sage's Wills. We're gonna have three or four to upgrade a Sage, so, I'm, so we're gonna upgrade a couple of those while we're here. Um, worst comes to worst, we'll just trade these for hearts. But I wanna finish subquests to see if there's any... Uh, but yeah, you can see my battery is fully blue. Because there was the, the, like, the one with the... Watch your who's it's. Why can't I remember anything? Yeah, there was the quest with the, uh, the statues... Uh, near the uh, starting area from the first one. Which gave a, a heart container, so I don't know if any, uh, any of the other side quests do. And then we'll probably just top out whatever towards the end of the game. I did some cooking, but I also used a fair amount of it while doing my other exploring, so... We might have to do a little more. I'm trying to think what I should upgrade for abilities. Probably the lightning bolt, because if I could speed up the charge on that, that would say that would make my life a little bit more easy. So I totally forgot to do that. Sidon's power kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, so let's go Lightning Bolt. And it's kind of a toss-up between Yulin and, uh... I was hoping it would speed up the charge, but okay. Uh... We'll go Tulin, I got... I glide enough, but... That'll be useful. Next one will be you now, though. Priority was. Oh, but it also increases their uh, power in battle, I guess, since it says attack power. So that'll be useful. Alright. Uh, where are we going next? I said robots. 
Although we could get these memories first. And they'll each have Koroks, too. Yeah, let's do that. That'll give time for anybody who wants to come in and watch me build a robot to come in and watch me build a robot. Okay, first off, it's chilly. Let's fix that. Honestly, this outfit isn't armored much at all, so... Or the snow pants. That's the warm greaves. Nutty Industries warm greaves. Where are the snow pants? Snow pants. I'm pretty sure there's snow upstairs. Alright. Um, let's get Shlorpy. If I could find a place to Shlorp, that'd be great. Shlorp? Shlorp? No Shlorp. Or maybe this wasn't the best place to warp to. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take that. And we're going to warp somewhere a little more useful. Uh, yeah, I can really just head north from here. This is a tower I can launch from. Yeah, this is launch. Okay! Actually, yeah, there's a, there's a photo... Yeah, in the big temple, there's a map in the back of where all the glyphs are, so I can just check against that to see what's left. Oh, what's my arrow count at? 34? Not ideal. But, look, so I'm not gonna mess with those dudes for now. I think I found all the vending machines at this point, though. Right, so we want to head south towards the green guy. Okay, that doesn't really uh, seem to buff the breeze at all. All right, well, that's still having them better in combat, especially Tulin, who is prone to headshots. Is gonna that's gonna be pretty useful. Uh, I did find another Master Gliok. I think there's three in total. So they're on the to-do list for later. Um. I just marked the third platform that looked like it was uh, for those. As long as we can land on top of the hill over there, I think we're good. Actually, yeah, we got we got a new cloth, and I'm not even using it. <laughs> There's one you get for um. Actually, I forgot how we got it. I know it's yellow, but that doesn't tell me much. It's not for peeing. And also, apparently, there's a fourth dragon flying around. I was right all along. It just wasn't the one underground. There's a light dragon you can get uh, bits from. That's probably going to be my next off-stream grind, is dicking around. Uh, grabbing dragon parts. Not like that. Um, for upgrades and stuff. Hello! Dick! <laughs> Take that bow, though. A little bit here. What are we doing? Okay. Is this it? This might be it. Yeah, it's probably it. Okay, so first, let's look for the obligatory Korok. Because there's always an obligatory Korok. Most of the time it's been a rock. But sometimes on these cliffside ones, it's like... Well, that looks like where they're going to put... The, yep, there's the Drippy. Alright, we'll do the Drippy first. Let's get sad. Yeah, I guess the middle finger is where the robot goes.
I forget how much of a walk it is to get back to the, um, the robot building depots, but it's not too big a deal. I'm gonna make a bunch of noise close to the mic while we're doing this. Alright, cool. Oh, that's much less far in the past. Or no, it is far in the past. the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Allegedly. Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Rauru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Uh, Look at MissAncestry.com right here, yeah, jeez. Zelda. You had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> Now, Zelda, dear, oh. you don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes. I forget if I said this before, but I appreciate that she, like, clearly has some muscle on her. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I see what you did there. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru. She may have some idea. Oh, that's probably his sister. Finally have a name for her. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. Yeah, my nibblings uh, just got this as well, so... I haven't been summoned for too much assistance yet, but... It's gonna be fun back-to-backing every task as I get called downstairs to help with something. <laughs> I did war- I, war <laughs> I warned my brother and my sister-in-law ahead of time, like... There's a lot going on in this one. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go find our obligatory Korok, because there's always a Korok on one of these. It actually was kind of funny, uh, said sister-in-law actually, uh, ran into her first backpack Korok and she was like, I gotta take him all the way up there? I'm like, yes. Right, so there's dudes down below. Hey, Korok. Done. All right, that was easy. Yeah. All right, so I think the next one is either fifty-two. The next upgrade that I want is fifty-two or fifty-four. Uh, that's the golf mini game there. If you're wondering why there's a little man, that's what I use to mark mini games or other points of interest that don't really fit any other. Uh. Description. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, that's level to the lake, so we could probably just pop over here. I think we'll build a robot. Then we'll go for the tingle outfit. I mean, I'm definitely getting the tingle outfit before we're out, and then upgrading that as soon as possible. Uh, because why not live in style? I'm going to steal some magic words. Alright. You know how it goes. Alright. Oh, I broke my sword. I should probably grab a new one. Hee hee! 
stick on a sword. I got that from a Zonite guy, so, or, yeah, one of the robots, so. Oh, uh, which one are we going? We're going red or purple? Purple. I'm going to probably take the take a horse out and take it over there. I think I caught another horse, too, but... I don't know, my last offline session turned into a blur after a while. Oh, actually, let's buy some more arrows while we're here. Check around for any side quests. I've, I, I checked most of the towns for anything we might have missed side quest-wise. Yeah. Also, I'm trying to buy lizards and bugs and stuff for upgrades. I really need to start uh, keeping an eye out for... Um, uh, beetles. So I have, like, no photos of them. They're on trees. And I, I think some of them might be rainy weather only. But I haven't really run around in the woods that much. Wow! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you're welcome, buddy. Wow! Hey. Yeah. Alright, uh, did I get a new horse? Hurry up, please. Oh. Mm. I did. Big no Doppler anemone. That's it. Oh, I got two more. I didn't even remember that. Oh. Petius, yeah, Petus uh, was definitely not on stream. Anemone might have been. Mm. Oh. Alright. So actually, either way, it'll take me to Perp Land. I'll first check with these two. Chill. I'm not seeing a red exclamation point, so they do have a side quest that's minor. We gotta check in well, we gotta check in back at the base anyway, but I gotta check in uh with the well lady. At some point, because I found a few more. I also found a few more instances of Addison. Some of them were in some pretty weird places. But got those taken care of. I've got no indication that I did all of them yet, so... Not too worried about that. Yeah, I feel like I want to change Anemone's main. Next time I take a horse out, I'll try to remember to do that. Alright. I don't know why I'm steering. The autopilot on the path should take me in the general direction I want to go here for the most part. I hear Octorox, but... Again, keep an eye for beetles. No. Oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I can see why I wouldn't have seen that one from the ground. But now the question is, where's the obligatory Korok for this one? Yeah. 
It's your boy. Pre-goop. Oh, there's also like three or four Colosseums underground on top of the one that's up in the overworld, so... That's gonna be a project someday soon, too. Will, will bow down before me. Bruh. I love this war flute, though. And I love her mohawk. Did he call in a Moldiga? Yeah. Several Moldiga! Great. That's another thing we haven't done yet, is fought, fought any of those. That's a lot of Moldiga. This is like... This is some Dune ass nonsense. It's more than we thought. It's a swarm. There are so many of them. But why would they? Oh, I just—it I, took me this long to realize their eyes match. Actually. No, now with the light on it, it definitely looks like not her eye color's kind of a merger, even though that's not how eye color genes work. What if two glowies? Suck a dick shit. That blast wiped out all the Molduga. How is that possible? It looks so sad. As does he. So brute force will not be enough. Oh. The secret stone of the Zona. How interesting. Okay. Next. Alright. Korok time. Okay. Korok hunt. Oh no, this is this is very large. Please be a rock. And not like a thing I gotta shoot, because it's gonna be that much harder to find here. Even if it's like one of the uh like the windmills or something, that'd be fine. Because you at least hear those when you're near them. Alright. Let's skim the woods first. I'll try and play it by ear. It all it is always within the boundaries or very close to the boundaries of the glyph, so that's not so bad. Uh, it's just eggs, okay. Up in the tree, I mean. I know wish it would pop these up on the map. I mean, it, should, it does it on the overworld map when you zoom out, but I mean on, like, the mini-map. Make it a little easier to keep track of what I covered mentally. Also, it never occurred to me until while I was peeking at a couple of guides to find those shrines. Um... 
just for time saver's sake, that those gubbins that fall out of the sky? You can, uh, oh, I'm gonna do something funny. Funny joke! Oh no. Actually, we haven't fought one of these yet. Let's fucking go! Oh, oh, can I slurp? Not from that direction. There we go. Got one. No, I didn't. Yeah, those falling bits there, you can reverse, yeah, you can use the reversal thing to just fly up wherever they fell from. Which is potentially very useful. But, I'm a dumbass. I didn't realize that until I'd already, like, mapped out the entire sky. Good enough. Alright, you're dead. Let's get your buddies. You're not... All right, and then treasure chest, please. Ding, ding, ding. Also, I think I saw a rock maybe in that line of stuff. Oh, hey. Oh, can I attach that to it? It would be useful. Oh, uh, I think this would just look goofy as shit, so let's do it. Yes. Honestly, the Majora's Mask always had that heart shape to it, so... Thematically appropriate goofiness. All right, more arrows. All right. Um, I already have a frond thing for that gust of wind challenge. Since we, I noticed that earlier. All right, treasure. Maybe that wasn't a rock. Might just be a plant blemish. Ooh, that's an okay rock. Yeah, okay, I was just seeing shit. Where's my obligatory Korok? Okay, they don't, yeah, I don't think they have the mirrored tree puzzles in this one, at least not that I've seen. In any capacity. So, hello. Goodbye. We got a snooze boy. Nothing really going on around him, though. What's this? Oh, it's just a spring thing. Well, oh. guess I gotta kill you. completely waste this thing. I don't want to use that either. Sorry, I'm getting picky now. <laughs> and the old pinecone looking thing up the butt. I thought something's wrong. I forget what. Decent stick. All right. Um... Those are not within the bounds of the glyph, so they're not going to be what I'm looking for here. I mean, I 
guess I, if I wanted to, I could use the spring to get some air and get a, a better view of things. But, eh. That would be smart. We're not doing that. Not today. Not ever. So that apple tree is a good point of reference, at least. Oh, that might be it. That's it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got him! Oh, we didn't drop the rock on him yet. There we go. Alright. Work gets done. Alright, so we found that guy. Um... Where was the other one I marked? Red? Red. Uh, uh, let's fly to it. Like, I feel like Cornell Peak could probably just glide over, but I don't want to risk the waste of time climbing if we don't have to. Shaking up my green juice. All right. Red towards red. Once we launch, yes. Okay. So that's south. That thing there, I see it. That's probably it, anyway. Oh, there's a star piece there, so now I want to go to get, get that. It's not that far of a haul. Honestly, I think it's the yellow one, actually. That's where that's headed, so... Where's the, oh, the red one's right below me. Okay. So we could probably just swing back. Okay. find a couple more chasms as well under stuff that I wouldn't have expected but didn't really need to access but again if you get an award for finding them all it'd be cute I guess what, oh my stammy's getting kind of low here We got the yellow one, I think we're right, yeah. Honestly, it's probably a walkable pond anyway. Hi guys! I'm just here for this, bye! You saw nothing. Well, big up the lurkers, Jojo. Let's try that again, and this time make a turn towards the gigantic Nintendo Switch on the ground. And where was the yellow one? Because I'm wondering if there's maybe a quicker blast to that. I legit don't know where I left that mark. Oh, over here. Oh, yeah, the, the, okay. It would be a much quicker haul to just go towards that. If anything, I pro if I was going this way, I probably saw this one in the distance. And not where the yellow marker was. Okay. That's fair. Alright. Red for real this time. I feel like I almost cracked my head on that uh, platform there.
Okay. Nintendo. Trying to make a note of where the whorls are. I love that the, yeah, they've even got like whorls that match where the sticks would be. Alright, there's the core rock on the left. Fantastic. So, and I see the fill drop there in the mid, so. Obligatory Korok. Yeah. Done. I, just, I love how I say big up the lurkers when you're not watching with, that, with, it, with sound, so that's smart on my part. Uh, is there anything in the other stick? Maybe two obligatory Koroks? I might just be dreaming too big here. I am dreaming too big here. That's fine. Memories in the corner of my mind. Okay. Oh, and we also found what's going to open up that uh, sage thing underground. When I found those other shrines, one's connected to it, so. We can do that, but I want to get some other stuff out of the way first. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That's I think we've seen her without the mask on before. Way to get the travel functionality she working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes. Whatever you need. I really appreciate. Don't break my it. shit. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return... Zelda I love her library, to too. I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. I want to know why her, uh, her sash is all floaty. Stones I like that, too. Amplify the power their owners possess. It's a vibe. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power. So like a cleric, turning undead. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power. Time power. Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to Well, yeah, we kind of learned that when we, uh... That means... Hell to read you out. You don't already know how to get yourself home. <sighs> there are good name for shit. <laughs> and a forbidden act called Draconification. Oh. To swallow a secret stone is to become. An I think I know where that's going. Blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Dramatic sting. You know where that's going. Future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I think you wonder if the other three dragons were uh, people or something before, or the, the, actual, the actual three goddesses. Transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you you. I'm sorry. But yeah, the big mask on the desk behind her, on behind Monero, is um where we the thing we found connected to one of the shrines. 
that seems to point to that underground place that I couldn't open. The answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. I still haven't found the Vi outfit either. No. Oh. oh, we're not back. We're hearing noises. A dragon. A light dragon, perhaps. Could you lay it on any she totally she's totally gonna eat the stone. Oh yeah, she's big sad. She's totally And that horn looks a hell of a lot like a sword. She ate the stone. Let's be sad. Oh, a new one. But not a glyph. Ah, and there's a thing right there next to it. Interesting. All right, let's go see that yellow thing. I want to see what, what's going on. Oh, we visited all the glyphs? I feel like I didn't go to the yellow one, though. Well, let's clear this. Alright, maybe that wasn't a glyph that I marked then. What the heck did I mark then? I mean, we're equipped for cold weather, so mountaintop shouldn't be a problem. Huh. And I'll double check against my map to make sure I got all 11. These are the ruins where the uh, the triple um, tablets or whatever were. What is that? Where's that? Is that Kakariko over there? Ah, uh, it's gotta be. Okay. Oh, they would see it from this far. All right, so now left here. Clearly, it was some kind of point of interest. That's where the cave stuff was, maybe? I kind of miss Cass. Kind of hoping they'd, you know, still be hanging out. Alright, we got a mountaintop here. Why did I mark this? It looks like there's some Korok shenanigans at the very least, so we can do that. That's timing. Okay. Yep. Yeah, ha ha. I didn't mark it just for Korok shenanigans, did I? Because you can do those with thrown items. Like, I don't even need to... Oh, I also did get to all of the star islands in the sky. And, uh, dropped what I could. Like, not all of them dropped down. So... When? So, yeah, I don't know what's up. Alright, well, the yellow thing seems to have proven to be nothing else. It's something underground and I just screwed myself, but whatever. Oh, well, this is clearly going to be something. It's probably that... Oh, that's not an indentation, that's an outdentation. So, oh, perfect. Perfect.
Oh, we got clues for the Zora armor too, so we could probably get that finished as well. All right, well, let's go. Let's, let's go check out this tier thing. The thing with the three waterfalls or three caves near the waterfalls was that there were three monster brothers, so it's a uh, the three. Um, I'm guessing it's the three. Uh, what are they? What were they? Uh, I forgot what those things are called. The big one, I guess. I am just brain farting out the wazoo today. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, I'm figuring it's beating those guys. smack in the middle of everything, right? Yeah. I love the jerky movement on the Mummy Ganon. Will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful. The hey, what do you think's got a bunch of sacred power? After all, you possess uh, power over time. Yeah, she's gonna eat the thing. Let's be sad. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. I guess we left this for the boy. Or did she just effectively write her suicide note? a sword for you. Aww. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. Fuck. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Time for the forbidden candy. Let's go. You must. Taste lemony. Although if she can down that in one. Nancy Reagan, you, Reagan, Reagan, you got nothing on this. Kind of what I do. Oh, 
I'm glad they went with glowing orb and emerging from it rather than like terrifying body horror stretching out in weird ways transformation. There's your glyphs. I love the luminous stone vibes of the uh, the spines on her too. That's great. Now my question is, now that you know this, does her name keep stay up as Light Dragon on the map, or does it change over to Zelda or Zelda Dragon or something? Why? Have fun, I guess. I guess by this actually, I guess by this point, Sonya's dead, and Rauru's given himself to heal the dwarf. So, okay. Oh, the flowers were not there when we went for the memory. That's cool. That's cool. I love that. Not gonna lie, that's making me a little misty. Well, I guess we're monster fuckers now. Now the question is, how do I get the sword back? Alright, we got a main quest done. Stuffing my pockets. Alright, that's cool and all, but free flowers. Let's go. Alright. Um, it's robot time. Now that we're all depressed. <laughs>